Hello and welcome back to another Flutter tutorial. In this video, I am going to explain about the low-level isolate APIs. Hope you have seen my previous video on isolates where I explained about how we can achieve good performance in Flutter applications using isolates with the help of high-level isolate compute API. If you have not seen that video, then the link is there in the description or you can click the i button on the right corner of the video. So as I said, isolates are basically threads. In the Flutter world, threads are called isolate but there are some differences which I explained in the previous video. So in this video we will see how we can communicate between isolates. The difference between using a high level compute function and low level isolate API is that we get more control over the isolates. Okay so let me show you how that is done. Let's start. So in this example we will be communicating between two isolates the main isolate where the flutter app is running and a separate isolate which will be doing some heavy operation and we will be communicating between these two isolates and sending messages from the second isolate to the main isolate okay so let me import all those necessary packages and we're going to declare some variables the first one is an isolate the next variable is a boolean which is going to indicate if the isolate is running. I'm going to set it to false. Then under the variable boolean passed. So this will indicate if the isolate is passed or not. Then another variable string message. This is going to hold the message from the isolate. And another variable thread status. This is going to indicate the status of the isolate okay so the next variable is an important one a receive port so this is a port to which uh, the main isolate will be listening okay and a capability so i'll be explaining what capability later so let's write some skeleton functions to do the operations on the isolates the first one is the start method which will start the isolate the second one is a pause method which will pause or receive the isolate. The third one is a stop method which will stop the isolate and kill it. Now I am going to write a method which will do some heavy operation and do some calculation etc. Um, so I will be writing an infinite loop inside this method and which will be doing some calculation, compute sum. Okay, let's write the compute sum method. So that's going to return a future. It will generate a random number and I'm gonna loop a number of times and add the random number to the sum and it's going to return the sum. So our compute sum is complete. Now let's write a quick UI. The first button will say start isolate and it will call the start method. Second button will say pause isolate. Third button stop isolate and some spacing and a text which will show the thread status and another text which will show the message from the isolate. Okay. I'm going to set a green color for the message and we are going to show the start button only if the isolate is not running so not running else we are going to show a size box with zero height and width similarly for the second button pause isolate we are going to check if the isolate is running then we will show same thing for the third button okay and the text we are going to check if it is if the isolate is paused then we will say receive isolate as we will say pause isolate okay now let me update the function names the pause isolate will call this pause method and the stop isolate will call the stop method okay now let's go to the start method 
and we are going to check if the isolate is running if running we are going to return otherwise we are going to call set state and set the variable running to true so running is equal to true and the message is equal to let's set it to starting and thread status is equal to let's set it to running so running okay now let's initialize the receive port so this is the port through which the main isolate is going to listen to the incoming messages from the other isolate which is sending it okay so receive port is equal to new receive port okay now let's create isolate so isolate is equal to await isolate dot spawn and the entry point which is a function so we'll be writing the isolate handler function later and the message is a receive port and we are going to listen to the messages so receive port dot listen it's going to accept a function which is going to uh, get the messages and when it is done the on done callback will be called and when it is done we are going to set the thread status is equal to stopped okay now let's write the pause method if the isolate is not null and if it is paused we are going to resume the isolate so that needs a resume capability which is uh, returned by the isolate when it is paused okay so we need to use the same capability for resuming the isolate so that's a use of capability so once that is done we're going to set the paused to not paused so that's going to toggle and thread status if it is paused we are going to say paused otherwise received now the stop method if the isolate is not null we are going to set the running to false and close the receive port and call isolate dot kill set the priority isolate dot immediate and set the isolate to null now let's write the isolate handler function which is the entry point of our isolate so as i said in the previous video the entry point function should be a static function or a function that is not an, an instance of a class so i am going to set it to static and it's going to receive the parameter the receive port so receive port and i'm going to call the heavy operation function from inside the isolate so change the method to static okay heavy operation and let's pass in the receive port there as well okay because heavy operation needs to send back the data to the main isolate so it needs the receive port now to send the data back to the main isolate we need to call receive port dot send port dot send and the message so convert the integer to a string okay that sends a message and the receive port dot listen will get it and which is going to be handled by the handle message okay and now uh, let's write the handle message function that will be void handle message dynamic data and called set state and assign the data to message okay that will update the ui right okay now let me run the app
now i'm going to click on sat isolate so there is some issue here so the isolate dot spawn is accepting a send port as parameter but we are sending a receive port so let's change that we need to change the parameters as well so change that to send port so send port copy it okay so change that to send port dot send okay run the app again okay let's click start isolate so it's running it's calculating the values so click on pause isolate it's paused click on resume isolate so it's received okay now let's click on stop isolate so it is stopped so everything is working fine so what if i want to send more uh, data to the isolate so right now we are sending the port so if you want to send more data we can do it with custom classes so let me create a class i'm going to name it thread params and a constructor that will accept a value and a send port so int value and a send port okay and go to the start function and create a new thread params and the value let's set it to 10 and send port is receive port or send port right okay now pass in the thread params okay now the error is because we change the parameters of the spawn method right so isolate handler will now accept that params okay thread params we change that to thread params dot send port dot send right and update the value as well okay now now let's uh, restart the app start isolate so it's working good I assume stop everything is good okay now let's change the value to 100 okay restart the app okay good let me change that to a bigger value let's change that to 2000 uh, restart the app okay okay now it's changing fast okay Pause isolate is working and stop isolate is also working. Okay. So that's how we can send more uh, data to an isolate and do whatever we want. Okay. So I think that's clear. So this is the advantage of using low level isolate APIs over the compute function. Uh, we can get more control over the isolates and we can pause, resume, or hit the isolate at any point of time. So uh, it's, it's up to you, you want, which one you want to use, you can use compute function or, or uh, uh, the low level APIs. So that's all in this video. And if you want to watch the previous video on isolates, the link will be in the description. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Hit the bell icon for notifications and thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.